Hi, welcome to Analytics for All. In this lesson, we're going to be covering how to re index a database, specifically using Microsoft SQL Server. Now this is a more advanced topic in SQL. This is more of a uh, database management, a DBA type process. Uh, and it really gets into the heart of performance with your SQL Server. If it starts to slow down, bog down, not run very quick. Uh, one of the things you want to look at is your indexes. Now indexes are, are extremely complicated process and I could probably do hours worth of videos on indexes and still have people arguing that I didn't cover the whole thing. So I'm going to go over a very, very, very basic generalized concept of how indexes work. And uh, we're going to go on from there. Okay, so I want you to think of an index almost like an index in a book here. So let's imagine I got this book here and I want to learn about Microsoft SQL Server. Well, I can look at the index and I see it's on these two pages here between 20, 23 and 33. It's on those 10 pages. So uh, I can just flip to those pages. It's much faster than having to flip to the entire book looking, hoping to see the word SQL Server pop up. That's why indexes exist in your books. And that's the same reason they exist in a, S a SQL Server because the idea is that they create these little lookup tables. So when I query a table and say, hey, I want any records related to Microsoft SQL Server, it knows exactly where those records sit in the table. The issue is, especially if you have a transactional database, which means people are constantly writing to it and altering and deleting, uh, the index can get messy real quick. So what what's happens? Let's say now we want to add Teradata to this. Now look what happens. Oh, now up above here, we have this new Teradata page 104. And okay, so if you looked, it probably it's not in the order it should be because the page numbers up here also, there's no, you know, we're not even alphabetical order, so it matches no order. Another thing happens, let's say suddenly we change where SQL Server changed. Now SQL Server in the new edition goes 63 to 73. And this is what happens. This is what your indexes live look like in a SQL Server. They just keep getting added in there. And that becomes fragmented. Uh, so the whole thing is now when I go to look at the index, it takes me longer to look through the index because it's not in the, any order I anticipate here. And so you're queries are going to run slower because the indexes are slower. So what we can do is we call re-indexing the indexes. And that goes through and basically defragments and puts them back in an order so that it makes more sense for the computer to read them. All right, saying that, I'm going to pop over to my SQL Server and let's get started and see how this works in real life. Now, as with all my lessons, I have a full write-up on my website, analyticsforall.org. I'll put a link for this down in the description. If you scroll down, you'll see I've got some code down here for later on that you can just kind of cut and paste instead of having to type it all out. So it's easier just to kind of grab this code and cut and paste it for yourself. And now let's go ahead and let's pop over into our SQL Server. Okay, here I have my SQL Server open and uh, let's go ahead and take a look what I've got here as far as databases go. I've got a sandbox and I have the AdventureWorks database which you can download. It's free. You can download it and install it. It's just as in bringing it in as a backup. Uh, God, the AdventureWorks has been around forever. And you can also find one that matches your version of SQL. Uh, and if you're curious about that, was what your version is, you can just start a new query here as soon as it comes up. And just type in the add at, actually, sorry, select add at version. And run that. And that'll tell you what version of Microsoft SQL Server you're using so you can kind of get the right version you want there. But again, you don't need adventure version or anything. Any database you have will work for this. But we're going to do is we're going to go down. I'm just going to pick on this one table here, this Human Resources Employee. And we'll scroll down and we're going to look at the indexes. And you see there's a few indexes here. And there's a reason for having multiple indexes. I'm not going to get into it in this lesson. Uh, it... it becomes very complex and, and the funny thing is you'd think the more indexes you have the faster you'll search but sometimes the more makes it even worse it, it's one of those very meta things you can get into a, you know plenty of arguments with really smart people over and not go anywhere but anyway so let's go ahead let's just pick the first index and let's just right click on it and go down here and take a look at the properties and as soon as it comes up all right, there we go. So now you come down and you look at the fragmentation here. And you'll see this one, the page fullness is 70%, total fragmentation is 33%. Uh, page fullness, your index is full of actual, just think of them as almost pages of a book. Imagine 
as you're as you're writing an index, you're, imagine if you were handwriting your index. You'd probably want to leave a few lines empty on each page in case you have to later go in and put in input something new, make a change. So that's what kind of happens here. They leave a little bit empty on each page so that they can write and it doesn't become quite as fragmented in the process. But that's the page fullness means. And the fragmentation just means that's the amount of fragmented, you know, where the, the, the index is just not in the order it's supposed to be. So the one really simple solution you can do just using your mouse is you right click and just rebuild. And it'll go through the here, you'll say OK, and in process, and it's done. It rebuilds that. Okay, another thing you can do is you could actually go through here and rebuild all. You can click on the end. Now, so you go up here, you're going to click on the indexes to get that. If I just click on here, I can only rebuild for specific index. But I go here, I can click here, and I can rebuild all. And it'll come up. Here's all the indexes in that table. And I hit go, and there you go. Okay, so that's how to quickly do it just using your mouse. Okay, now copying from my website, like I said, I'm just going to copy and paste that line of code here. And this is how you can manually do this with using SQL. So what we're going to do here is I've got some code. And the first thing I want to do is go up here and drop this down and grab the right database. You could also just type in use AdventureWorks. You know, and I always recommend that's the first thing you should type in any time you get in. That way you guarantee you're working in the right database. All right, hold on. Well, you hear my dogs chiming in in there. Anyway. Okay, it looks like my code is from an older version. I'm going to do a quick fix here. Instead of putting the brackets around here, lose the brackets. Just put this all into some quotes. So what we've got here is this code DBCC. Then we're going to do DB reindex, and then in parentheses the name of the table. This space right here, because I put nothing in there, that is means I want to do all of the indexes. If I wanted one specific index in the table, I put it in here, but I've sent that with a blank. That means all. Notice it's a space too. It's not just two brackets together. I put a space in there, and then 90 is my fill factor. We were talking about it earlier for the page fill. You can put 80, 90, either one are probably the most popular ones you'll find. So let's go ahead. We'll run this. And the same thing. Now we just re-index that table the same way we did when we hit the rebuild. Okay, finally, we're going to re-index all the tables. There goes my dog again. Sorry about that. We're going to re-index all the tables using this code. Now, what we've got here is we're going to set up a cursor. So we're going to declare in a valid variable of a table name. It's an invar char 255. Uh, and if you haven't done cursors, I have a lesson on cursors I'm going to put in the description below that you can get to. But a way a cursor works is you can take out one piece of a table record each time. You can, instead of just bringing back a set of records, you can call one record at a time from a table, which allows you to work with them individually. So what we're doing here is, because if you don't know, I'll put the link down in the description for cursors. But otherwise, if you understand cursors, here we go. We're going to declare a cursor, declare my cursor as a cursor for select table schema plus table name. There's my other dog. Sorry about that. From the table information table schema, where table type is base table. If you want to see what that looks like, I'm just going to run that part real fast for you just so you can see this part. And that's what that returns. Returns all the tables. Okay. And then open my cursor. And I'm going to say fetch from my cursor. So fetch the first line here into table name, into the variable. And then while fetch status is zero, it turns to one once your, your table is empty. I want you to begin. Print working on table name, re-index table, then fetch the next one. Finally, when you've gone through all of them, because this is the begin, the end of the while statement, so it's going to go back there. Going to close the cursor and deallocate my cursor. So if we go ahead, hit execute here, and it'll run. And as you'll see, it starts printing out every one as it finishes through the table and goes through. This is a great way, if you've got a database that's really kind of slogging, you know, I recommend doing this every once in a while, especially if you're using a very transactional database. This isn't a major problem for like your data warehouses, 
but your transactional databases will run into this and this is just kind of a good kind of go-to solution you don't really damage anything because you're not creating or deleting any new indexes you're just rebuilding the ones that are already there uh, So that was rebuilding data. I'm sorry, rebuilding, rebuilding database indexes from a SQL Server. Uh, other systems are a little different. The codes, it's the idea is very much the same whether you're using Oracle or you know MySQL or something like that. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. Go ahead, comment below on any other videos you want me to work on. I'll, I I do. I do do video lessons on demand for anything within the world of data science. So anything from Excel up to machine learning, Python, R, SQL. Uh, I, I do Tableau, visualizations, that kind of stuff. Uh, again, thank you. Welcome. Please visit my website, analyticsforall.org, and thank you very much.